If ash bursts into the sky, thousands of flights could be canceled. Back in 2010, an eruption in Iceland shut down air travel across Europe for days. Imagine something even bigger, stretched across two continents. Even places far away could feel the effects. Ash clouds don't stop at borders. If several volcanoes connected by the artery erupt, ash could spread across the United States. It could block sunlight for days, cool temperatures, and harm crops. Farmers in states like Idaho, Montana, or even Kansas could struggle with ruined harvests. And it's not just food. Power systems, water supplies, and the internet all depend on fragile networks. Fiber optic cables that scientists use to study the earth also carry the internet itself. If quakes along the arteries snap those lines, millions of people could lose connections. In today's world, that means no work, no calls, and no emergency alerts. So the artery doesn't just matter for science, it matters for every person living in its shadow. But here's the hopeful side. Because we know about it, we can prepare. Remember those tools from before? Seismometers and satellites don't just help scientists, they help people. If magma moves faster, the ground lifts or tremors grow stronger, alarms can go out. Families can get texts, cities can sound sirens, emergency teams can move before disaster strikes. And this isn't just theory. Around Rainier, there are already lahar warning systems. Sirens sit in towns like Orting, ready to sound if the mountain stirs. Schools practice drills where kids move to high ground. These small steps could save thousands of lives. In Oregon, Portland leaders are working on stronger buildings and better evacuation routes. In Alaska, flight controllers already get quick updates on volcanic activity, so pilots know where it's safe to fly. 